Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kol Halonim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Baracha Hakodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world only calls Jesus Christ. Baracha Hakodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and peace, blessing, salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And um, as you see the title of the lesson, you know, we're just going to get right into it. This is Luke 18 and 9. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee, so back there and during this time, a Pharisee was a, a, a one that was learned in the law, you know. So he, he knew uh, of Yahweh by Shem, uh, uh well, Yahweh at that time, you know, because he was schooled in the law of Moses, you know, that was, that was the office. And a publican would be a, a, a tax collector, you know, so he wasn't necessarily uh, uh, keeping the laws and, 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 you know, following, you know. Um, this is verse 11. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, the Most High, Yahweh, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week, and I give tithes of all that I have. Right? So he boasting uh, of his works, man, of, of what he do. Verse 13, and the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast saying, Yahweh, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. You know? So we always got to remember that, you know, in, in, in these, uh, shit, Salakia. You know, these is, um, pride killers. You know, I didn't mean to push that. It's a lock here. But these are pride killers, man. You know? This is Psalms 51 and 1. It says, To the chief musician, a psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone into Bathsheba. You know? So this is after King David committed adultery. You see? Have mercy upon me, O power, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. So the mindset of that publican was what? The mindset of king that, that King David had, man. Have mercy upon me, a sinner, and not boasting of our works, walking proudly. You see? Continually knowing Hey, 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 that, 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 man, <laughs> we wretched and we continually sin each and every day. As it is written, all have sinned and come short of the glory. There is not a just man upon this earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Roughly paraphrasing. You see, all of our righteousness are as filthy rags. Only through Yahweh Shai is our redemption. Matter of fact, let me get this real fast. This is uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, is it 1 Salakia? Yeah. 1 and 30. Um, one and 26. Yeah, 1 and 26. It says, For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, guys, uh, not, uh, you know, you have your exceptions of brothers, you know, that have uh, been to college and, and was schooled in different, uh, you know, schools, you know. But a lot of brothers, shit, me, myself, personally, I didn't even graduate high school, you know. So not many wise men after the flesh. Not many mighty, not many noble are called. But the most I had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. We are those foolish things that the Lord has chosen, man. By the foolishness of preaching. I believe it's in the same chapter, you know, reading up. It says, And the most I have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised have the most I chosen. Yea, 
and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. That no flesh should glory in his presence. You see? But of him are ye in Mashiach Yahweh Shai, who of the Most High is made unto us. So Yahweh Shai is our what? Wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. So it's only through Yahweh Shai, man. You see? Only through Yahweh Shai is our sins forgiven. The water, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. But the key thing is what, man? He said, uh, 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 um, matter of fact, matter of fact, it's a lot. This is, uh, Hosea 5 and 15. The Lord says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction. They shall seek me early, you know? So, hey, hey, who's who's seeking after you? How about Shami Yahweh Shai? Today is the elect. You know, they're going to acknowledge their uh, 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 offenses. Their sins are going to be ever before them, like Psalms 51 says, man. You know? Let, let, let's go keep going from there. You know? Because that's what the Lord wants. He wants you to acknowledge your offense and change your ways. This is um Jeremiah 3. In 12, it says, go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, return, thou backsliding Israel, said the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, saith Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thy iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Turn. O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So that remnant, according to Isaiah 10 and uh, uh, verse 21 and 22, if I'm not mistaken, is around that, uh, uh, that area. It says the remnant are going to return, and they're going to trust in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know, so the ones that's going to seek the Lord early are are, 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 the, are the elect, you know. But they're going to acknowledge their offense and they're going to walk accordingly as what? The mindset of that publican, the mindset of our king, King David, because we're hoping for the sure mercies of King David. You see. Not boasting of our works, but asking you how about Sham Yahweh Shai to forgive us of our sins, you know. Um, I know it was another one. Bear with me. This is Psalms 32 and 1. Man, hey, it's spirit cold, man. This is Psalms 32 and 1, a psalm of David. Must chill. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, in whose spirit there is no guile. Because hey, the only man that walked with no guile, in it, uh, it says, um, hold on, Salakia. Not the only man to walk with no guile, but um, neither was guile found in his tongue. I spelled that word. This is... Um, First Peter three and nine, it says, um, no, nah, that's not the one that I wanted, but this, this one cool. This is, um, first Peter three and nine, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrary rise blessing, knowing that ye are there that ye are thereunto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile, which is lies, man. Deceit, craft, meaning having our, uh, uh, our tongue wholesome. Meaning what? We teach in this doctrine. The full truth. Paul said, I have, shun I have not shunned to declare unto you all the, uh, the counsel. Verse 11, let him achieve evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, 
and his ears are open unto their prayer. But the Lord face, it's like it, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. You know? Hey, 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 and who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? You know? And that which is good is what? Uh, verse 3, the point is in 5. It says, when I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Salah. I acknowledged my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto Yahweh Basham Yahushai, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Salah. You see? A, a, a Proverbs 28 and 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whosoever confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy, man. You know? 1 John 1 and 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So to continue to ask you, how about Sham Yahushai for that continual forgiveness, man? For that uh, 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 loving kindness, kindness and tender mercy. You know? Because as it is written in the book of... Um, Second Ezra. I believe it's the 8th chapter. Second Ezra 8 and 48. And this also thou art marvelous before the Most High, and that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee, and hast not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. You see? Because when you go back a chapter, man, Ezra, Ezra was saying, how are we going to receive the kingdom of heaven if we lived such a, a wicked lives, man? He was including himself in that, AA, because we all have sinned and, and, and fallen short. The mindset of King David, Psalms 51, you know, it says, um, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. You know, so we gonna go to an example of the Lord's great mercies, man. This is um Second Chronicles thirty three and one. It says Manasseh was twelve years old when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty and five years in Jerusalem, but did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, like unto the abominations of the heathen whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. For he built again the high places which Hezekiah his father had broken down, and he reared up altars of for for uh, Baalim, and made groves and worshipped all the host of heaven and served them. So that's equivalent to us being in the world li living after uh, uh, like these heathens, man. Hey, because we always got to remember. This is um, Colossians three. And five, it says, mortify, mortify, mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience, right? The who, whom we call the two-thirds, the rebels. Verse seven, and the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them, see? So we, a, a, you know, scriptures speak about that, uh, uh, um, Considering thyself, lest thou be tempted. I believe that's Galatians 6 and 1, but I think I'm mixing another scripture with it. You know, to remember that you, you used to walk like that, man. You know? Having that shame that, 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 that there are sins ever before us, man. That'll keep us humble. Knowing that, hey, you, you, are, you are a wretched man. You know? That's why in the kingdom of heaven, the two-thirds of our people, man, the, the, the rebels, they're going to have to bear that shame. The same shame we feel now, our sins ever before us, man, they're going to have to feel on the other side, <laughs> you know? And, 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 and man, I, I, man, feeling like this in the kingdom of heaven, oh, man, it ain't something I want to go through, man. This, this feeling is horrible. You feel disgusted with yourself, man. Read it again, verse 7. In the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them, 
But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Filthy communication is what, man? False lies, man. You know, false lies. <laughs> well, falsehoods and lies, you know. It says, lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. You know, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, man. Having that mind of Yahweh Shai. Hey, yeah, yeah, First Corinthians, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. This is um. Titus 3 and 3. For, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of the Most High our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, meaning the works of the law, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, which he shed on us abundantly through Yahawashai Hamashiach, our Lord. You see, that being justified by his grace, his loving kindness, his mercy, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life, man. So we should remain grateful, man. Hey, 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 who, seeing that we are sinners, Psalms 130 and 3 says that uh, if the Lord mark iniquities, who shall stand? Seeing we have received such great mercy as this, man, hey, hey, for, 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 for a nigga to spit on this, man, you know? It makes you hot, man. I mean, boiling. I'm, I'm, I'm getting hot. I'm, I'm getting hot just thinking about it, man. All these guys that speak ill, man. Hey, you a special low life nigga. Fucking ah. But anyway, back to Second uh, Corinthians thirty three, and um. Verse 3, for he built again the high places which Hezekiah, his father, had broken down, and he reeled up altars for Baalim and made groves and worshiped all the hosts of heaven and served them. Also, he built altars in the house of the Lord, wherefore the Lord has said in Jerusalem, shall my name be forever. You know, that. so these is, is, is great offenses that, that, that he's doing. Verse 5, and he built altars for, for all the hosts of heaven in the two courts of the house of the Lord. And he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hemnam. Also, he observed times and used enchantments and used witchcraft and dealt with a familiar spirit and with wizards. He wrought much evil in the sight of Yahweh Basham Yahushua to provoke him to anger. You know, so the same thing we was doing when we was out in the world, man. You know, had our children uh, celebrating Christmas and Halloween and all that. Hey, that's spiritually putting them through the fire, man. Observing times, man, enchantments, you know. Our people go to motherfucking uh, uh, mediums and and, 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 and and psychics. Call me now, Miss Cleo, ugly ass bastard. You know. All that, right? Verse seven. And he said a carved image, the idol which he had made in the house of the Most High, of which the Most High has said to David and to Solomon, his son, in this house and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen before all the tribes of Israel, will I put my name forever. So these is great offenses that Manasseh is doing. Neither will I any more remove the foot of Israel from out of the land which I have appointed for your fathers, so that they will take heed to do all that I have commanded them according to the whole law and the statutes and the ordinances by the hand of Moses. So Manasseh made Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to err and to do worse than the heathen whom the Lord had destroyed before the children of Israel. So they did worse than the fucking Canaanites that was there. And the Lord spake to Manasseh and to his people, but they would not hearken. And how did he speak? He, he spoke a, 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 through the prophets, man. It says, verse 11. Wherefore the Lord brought upon them the captains of the host of the king of Assyria, which took Manasseh among the thorns and bound him with fetters and carried him to Babylon. And when he was in affliction, he besought the Lord his power and humbled himself greatly before the power of his fathers and prayed unto him. 
And he was entreated of him and heard his supplication and brought him again to Jerusalem into his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew that Yahweh by Shammah was the most high. You know what I'm saying? Was the power. This is uh, the prayer of Manasseh, which letting you know the Apocrypha and, 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 and the scriptures go hand in hand, man. Because here is his prayer. The scripture just said he prayed, and here is his prayer. It says, O Lord, almighty power of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of their righteous seed, who has made heaven, heaven and earth with all the ornament thereof, who has bound the sea by the word of thy commandment, who has shut up the deep and sealed it by thy terrible and glorious name, whom all men fear and tremble before thy power. For the majesty of thy glory cannot be borne, and thy angry threatening towards sinners is importable. But thy merciful promise is unmeasurable and unsearchable. For thou art the most high Lord of great compassion, long-suffering, very merciful, and repentest of the evils of men. Thou, O Lord, according to thy great goodness, hast promised repentance and forgiveness to them that have sinned against thee. And of thy infinite mercies has appointed repentance unto sinners that they may be saved. Thou therefore, O Lord, that art the power of the just, has, has not appointed repentance to the just as to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, which have not sinned against thee. But thou has appointed repentance unto me that am a sinner, for I have sinned above the number of the sands of the sea. My transgressions, O Lord, are multiplied. My transgressions are multiplied. And I am not worthy to behold and see the height of heaven for the multitude of my iniquities. I am bowed down with many iron bands that I cannot lift up my head. Neither have, neither have any release. For I have provoked thy wrath and done evil before thee. I did not thy will, neither kept I thy commandments. I have set up abominations and have multiplied offenses. Now therefore I bow the knee of my heart, beseeching thee of grace. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my iniquities. Wherefore, I humbly beseech thee, forgive me, O Lord, forgive me, and destroy me not with my iniquities. Be not angry with me forever by reserving evil for me, neither condemn me to the lower parts of the earth. For thou art the power, even the power of them that repent, and in me thou wilt show all thy goodness. For thou wilt save me, that am unworthy according to thy great mercy. Therefore, I will praise thee forever all the days of my life. For all the powers of the heavens do praise thee. And thine is the glory forever and ever. Amen. You see? You see? Verse 14. Let's get back to it. Second Chronicles 33 and 14. Now after this, he built a wall without the city of David on the west side of Gihon on, in the valley, even to the entering in at the fish gate and compassed about Ophel, and raised it up a very great height, and put captains of war in all the fenced cities of Judah. And he took away the strange gods and the idol out of the house of, Yah of, of Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, and all the altars that he had built in the mount of the house of Yahweh, and in Jerusalem, and cast them out of the city. And he repaired the altar of the Lord, and sacrificed thereon peace offerings and thank offerings, and commanded Judah to serve the Lord power of Israel you see and that's the mercies that we received from Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai this is 2nd Corinthians 4 and 1 it says therefore seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy we faint not you know because it's the parable um, matter of fact I believe it's uh, might have been Luke 18 still So I can Luke seven. This is um Luke seven and uh Forty-one, you see, because uh, 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 this this matter of fact, we gonna get the this verse thirty-nine. Now, when the Pharisee which had bidden him saw it, no, 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 where we gotta start at? Verse thirty-six. This is Luke seven and thirty-six. And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him, 
and he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. You know, because they, a, a Pharisee was in office. You know, not all the Pharisees were wicked. Nicodemus was a Pharisee and he believed on Yahusha, you know. But um, Paul, a, a Paul was a Pharisee. He said he was a Pharisee of the Pharisees. It says, verse 37, And behold, a woman in the city which was a sinner, when she knew that Yahusha sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment. You know, now this is uh, Mary Magdalene. She don't, you know, she don't want to pour the ointment on Yahusha. And stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee which had bidden him saw it, he spake within himself, meaning he said in his mind, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that toucheth him, for she is a sinner. And Yahweh answering said unto him, meaning Yahweh read his mind, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he says, Master, say on. So it's the same parable that we started with, you know, with the Pharisee and the publican. You see, it's a mindset. That contrite and broken spirit, Psalms, the 51st chapter, that's the, that's the mindset. It says, um, verse 41, there was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed 500 pence and the other 50. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, thou hast rightly judged, man. So you know all the amount of sins that you've done, man. Hey, so <laughs> seeing that the Lord have given you uh, mercy for all that, how are you going to show him that you love him, man? Verse 44, and he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, which, which was the Pharisee the, 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 whose house he was in, Seest thou this woman? I entered into thy house. Thou gavest me no water for my feet, but she hath washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. You know, now this literally happened. But this is, hey, hey but uh, 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 wiping Yahweh feet? He said, uh, 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 whoever give a cold cup uh, 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 in the name of a prophet, roughly paraphrasing, he said, whatever you do unto these little ones, you do it unto me. So when Yahweh wiped the disciples' feet, he said, what? You ought to do that to each other. Wiping the feet is symbolic of what? Giving you the truth, clearing that path, showing you the right way to walk, cleaning your feet, cleaning your path, your walk. You understand? And it says that she cleaned it with her tears. She was in that mourning state. The scripture says, return unto me with fasting and mourning and prayer. Having that contrite spirit, have mercy upon me, a sinner. You see? And a woman, her hair is her glory. So she used her hair to wipe the feet, meaning she, she, it was no glory for us on this side, man. So we're not going to boast on our works. We're going to ask for forgiveness and do this work, man. Because we owe it unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You see? It says, and the scripture says we can never go far enough. Because Yahweh is, is going to far exceed. <laughs> Man. It says, verse uh, uh, 45. Thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman since the time I came in have not ceased to kiss my feet. And Psalm says, uh, I believe the uh, second chapter, the last verse, it says, kiss the son lest he be angry. You know? Kiss is, 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 is talking about worship. Hey, because uh, matter of fact, So like, yeah, it's all the spirit. I ain't even, you know, wasn't expecting this to, to go this long. This is a uh, first uh, Kings 19 and 18. Yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal and every mouth which have not kissed him. You see, meaning a uh, 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 um, uh, confessed Baal or, or worshiped Baal, you know. The Lord got that set number that those, those elect, you know. It says, verse 46, my head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. And the ointment is this word, the oil. Matthew 25th chapter, the oil in the lamps, man, represents this knowledge. You know, it says, verse 47, wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven 
for she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. So we ought to be what? Hey, hey this woman, she represents the elect of Israel. The elect are going to love much, man, because they understand how much how, how, how much they were forgiven. They, they acknowledge their sins and their sins are ever before them, man. And we continually hope on the mercies of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, man. So, Lord willing, you know, I, I hope and pray this was edifying. I hope it was humbling, you know. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baruch HaKwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly, man. Shalom, brothers.